Hi, we're Swag Vintage AZ. You're going to come thrifting with us today, but please take a look at us on Instagram. We're also on Etsy, Offer Up, and we have a booth at the Brass Armadillo in Phoenix, Arizona. Okay, furniture is too big. I can't store it, and it's heavy, and I don't like moving heavy things. But I loved this piece. Someone who does furniture, I hope they picked it up. I love this super ornate, heavy wood look, and this one was only $30. This is so pretty. Clear pressed glass on a pedestal with a silver foot. So pretty. Why I didn't pick these up? I don't know what I was thinking. Sometimes clear glass doesn't sell, so I hesitated. I put them together for someone else to find. Okay, brass. I always say yes to brass. I've never seen one like this before. It had feet, really unique. I picked that up. This, such a cool piece. Love the colors, love the hand-painted details. Huge crack on the top, left it behind. And monkey pod wood little teeny tiny bowl for a tiny price. I picked that up. A lot of sellers have these as Viking or Georgian or Anchor Hawking, whatever. I got them, they're amber glass. This was a pair of Studio Pottery, I think spoon rests. I just really liked them, good colors, well made, no signature, but I picked them up. Then here, the dishware, which is such an agonizing purchase. I have a lot for sale. So I left these behind, but man, did they have some good dishware that day. I love stoneware with flowers, and they even had the dining set to match. You can hear the regret in my voice, but I, I, can't, I can't store any more dishware, guys. And then this one, oh, Homer Laughlin, strawberry stoneware, god, it's cute, and all left behind because dishware doesn't sell. All right, so looking in vases, nothing super special. And I spotted this, is it Pottery Craft? I think that's the name. And yes, it is. So I picked that one up and it was half off, hooray. This piece, I tragically it had a crack, but what a weirdo. I mean, Studio Pottery, it's a necktie and the colors are to die for, but I left it behind because of the crack. This was a fresh cart and I saw a brass desk lamp and picked it up immediately. I love lamps, I love them so much. I loved these two, however, they were so damaged and would have made an amazing pair had I had they had their stems, but they didn't, so I had to let it go and mourn. The suitcases, these were super cool, but I think they were a newer production. They were so fresh, so I left them behind. And here is my cart. I also found some fabric and a very cool wood hanging piece of a prickly pear, and I spent just under $30. Moving along, a little marketing here. This is where a lot of our thrifting ends up, at our booth. We are at the Brass Armadillo in Phoenix, Arizona on I-17 and Cactus area. And we have so many goodies. We keep our prices super low. We've got a lot of art that I like to sell through the booth because I don't like shipping art. And some of our larger pieces, some furniture. We are getting ready to do a total overhaul of this space and add a wall of lamps because we are obsessed with lamps and I have too many in my house, even though I don't totally believe that statement. Glassware, dishware, plenty of brass and fiesta wear. Not only do we have this booth, but we have online stores on etsy.com as well as OfferUp. And you can find us everywhere, including Instagram at swagvintageaz, all one word. Best way to get a hold of us is through Instagram. Again, that's at swagvintageaz, all one word. So hopefully you will check us out. Thanks, guys.